been many procedures, many trials for Alzheimer's, and sadly many have failed. Did a scan already? Investigators at the West Virginia University Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute performed a procedure that may slow down the progression of the deadly disease that currently has no effective treatments. Three, two, one. The procedure involves um, the patient lying down on an, on an MRI table and then a helmet comes over your head that delivers ultrasound uh, waves into the brain. And when you couple these ultrasound waves into the brain with an injection of what we call microbubbles, these microbubbles start oscillating and they open up the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier protects the brain by allowing in nutrients and keeping out germs and toxins. The goal of this technology is to open up the blood-brain barrier using ultrasound and allow the plaques hopefully to be reduced and allow the clinical symptoms of uh, Alzheimer's to be uh, improved as well. A match for you, Rashi? Neurosurgeon Ali Razai is leading the WVU team to evaluate whether focused ultrasound reduces the plaque buildup and cognitive decline that are the hallmarks of the disease. We have a successful treatment at this point in time. The first patient to take part in the non-invasive trial is Judy Pollack, a 61-year-old nurse with early-stage Alzheimer's. I've accepted it. I mean, it is what it is now. Um, I'm still sad sometimes, but it is something that I can't change, um, but I can help change for other people. Even though Judy has stopped working due to memory loss from the disease, she isn't giving up. So that's the, that is the mantra, memories are worth fighting for. A battle Judy and so many others are facing. <laughs> we are fighting this disease, we're not suffering from it. Doctors say the potential benefits of this treatment will take several years to fully evaluate. We want to be also realistic. This is an investigational study, and we need to conduct the research study, uh, but so far, so good.